Hey everybody, welcome to Cross Kids Alito Home Edition. And we are about to open up the fourth egg. Uh, it's kind of crazy, it's a little cold out here, but I wanted to do it outside. You'll notice I'm in a hoodie and a jacket now, it's freezing. And so uh, we had really beautiful weather for the other egg openings, but today it's kind of cold. Um, but I wanted to be outside today because of what is inside this egg. Now, and so uh, obviously you can tell that this egg is a little small for what is in here. And so uh, let's open it up right now and let's just see what's in egg number four. Okay, check it out. Okay, now these are praying hands. So can you guess what this is all about and about the story of Jesus around the Lord's Supper and, and uh, about to be arrested? And he's about to be beaten and crucified and be put in a tomb and to come back from the dead. And so, so if you guess that Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, you are exactly right. Right after the Lord's Supper, it was, uh, it was really late at night. And so Jesus and the disciples all went to a garden. And so uh, they all took time to pray. And so Jesus told the disciples, Hey, you guys stay over here and y'all pray. I want to go and pray alone and talk to God alone. And so Jesus went off and he began to pray. Now, you have to understand something about Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is 100% the Son of God. He is 100% God, but he is also 100% man, meaning that Jesus could feel pain. And he knew that he was about to be arrested and about to be beaten and about to suffer something absolutely incredible. And so Jesus actually prayed for God to take that away from him so that, that he didn't have to do it. And so he prayed earnestly and he said, please God, take this cup from me, which symbolizes, God, I don't, I don't really want to do this, but I love, I love everyone in the world and I want to do this, but I'm not sure I want to go through all that pain. And so the first time he prayed that, God said, no, son, you need to do this. And he said, okay, your will be done. And so the Bible says he went off and checked on the other disciples, but they fell asleep. And so Jesus said, hey, guys, why don't you all wake up? I really need you to pray for me. And so he went off again and he prayed the same thing. Dear God, please help just take this away from me. I, I don't really want to do this. And God said, no, you need to do this. And so he went away and the disciples had fallen asleep again. And so he said, hey guys, I need y'all to get up and pray. So for the third time he went back and he prayed again, God, will you please deliver me from this pain and suffering that I'm about to go through? And God said, no son, this is very important. I love this world and these people that I created so much that you need to do this. And so Jesus said, God, if that's what you want me to do, I will definitely do this. And so he prayed and prayed. Now, right after he prayed, uh, he heard uh, some guards and some footsteps. And sure enough, it was a group of people that came to arrest him. And Judas was with those people. And Judas said, there he is, there's the man, and they arrested uh, Jesus. Now, I want you to understand something, and we've been talking about this a lot. Jesus said to the guards, why, why did y'all bring so many guards to arrest me? And he goes, I, I have not caused any problems at all. Don't you know that I could call 12 legions of angels to come and rescue me? Now, how cool is that? Now, a legion may be anywhere between a thousand to ten thousand angels. And so basically, Jesus said, I could call twelve thousand angels uh, right now to protect me and to save me, but I know that this is the will of my Father in heaven, and I know that this must be done. And so Jesus allowed them to arrest him and to take him away to be beaten. And so uh, it's a it's a kind of, it's a real part of the story that is very sad. And so a couple things I want you to take away from this: that Jesus really realized the importance of prayer, and the Bible says he got away often to pray to God and to talk to Him. And this is an encouragement for us. 
Now, again, understand that none of this surprised Jesus. He knew exactly what was going to happen. And so Jesus is about to be beaten. And, uh, and so that's what we're going to kind of talk about tomorrow with egg number five. So tune in tomorrow for egg number five. Thank you for viewing this video. And let's take time and today and thank Jesus for the incredible sacrifice that he endured for us because he loved us so much. Thank you. See you tomorrow.